please welcome to the stage Managing Director of Techstars Toronto and the co-host of Collision, Sunil Sharma. All these people here. Oh, amazing. Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to the first day of Collision, which of course is uh, taking place in this incredible city of Toronto for the very first time. Uh, my name is Sunil Sharma. I'm the Managing Director of Techstars Toronto. Techstars is the worldwide network that helps entrepreneurs succeed. And I'm also, I also get to be the co-host of this amazing conference, Collision. So uh, a lot of excitement's happening in the tech community in Toronto. For those of you who were here last night at opening night, we heard all about it from the likes of the mayor and the prime minister that Toronto is really a city on rapid ascent in the tech community and uh, is showing its leadership around the world. Uh, many of you might be surprised to have learned, as we talked about last night, that this city has led all North American cities in tech job creation, even San Francisco. Uh, and so over the last five years, we've just really been on a tremendous course. Later on, <clears throat> on this very stage, you're going to hear some, some fantastic keynote pre presenters, keynote speakers uh, like Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Uh, we have the co-founder of Twitter, Ev Williams. So this stage is going to be um, just a power-packed uh, location for the duration of the day and, and in the subsequent days. But before that, we have a, a great treat for you. We're going to, um, ev every morning on this stage, we're going to introduce to you some of the most up-and-coming <clears throat> seed stage startups you'll find anywhere. And uh, so you're going to meet companies that are scaling incredibly rapidly. And the question will be, are these going to be the, the very companies that the world is going to talk about in 2020 and beyond? Many investors who are here, there's more than 800 uh, tech investors in the building uh, over the course of the next couple of days, uh, believe these are, in fact, those companies. So uh, we want to introduce to you uh, our very first company uh, on stage. These, these, these founders are eager to come out from backstage and tell you their stories on how they did it. So let's get started. Our first company is Hugo. Hugo's built a platform for your team to save and share meeting insights in real time. To hear more, please welcome the co-founder and COO, Darren Chait, to the stage. We discovered something interesting in building a business. How you meet determines how you work. It's no surprise, meetings influence everything. That's where decisions happen. That's where tasks are generated, knowledge, culture. Think about all the time you spend in meetings. Problem is, the way we meet is broken. Why? Because there's no connection to the way we work. Think about how we work in 2019. The average company is using more than 128 different SaaS tools. More than 90% of them are specific to one department. And at the same time, three quarters of millennial managers have a team that's part remote. What does that lead to? Data fragmentation and people fragmentation. That's why we built Hugo. Compare these trends in how we work with how we meet. Most meetings we attend end up with nothing decided. Hours of your time of no value to the people out of the room. So we take pages of notes, we send emails, Slack messages, action lists. All you end up with is isolated documents and gigabytes of data. And at the same time, it's near impossible to translate meeting takeaways into action. 128 different SaaS tools, people all over the world, different buildings, time zones. So Hugo solves that. We make connected meeting note software, centralized, searchable meeting notes that connect with your favorite tools. We turn the simplest activity, taking meeting notes, into an easy way to connect everything about the way you meet to the way you work. Here's how we do it. You take your meeting notes in Hugo. We help make those insights shareable and actionable in more than 20 of your favorite business apps. You can create a Trello card, sync to Salesforce, send a bug to engineering, share insights via Slack for those who weren't in the room directly from your notes. Then, after being shared with others in the business who weren't in the room and should know, we transform your meeting insights into organized product and, and customer intelligence that'll never get lost. We're built on top of your calendar, so it's easy to make meeting notes centralized and easily accessible. And we organize them by customer, company, tag, project, however you organize your knowledge. And remembering how you meet determines how you work. Hugo powers the right process. 
with the likes of team templates and collaborative agendas, everyone in the business meets prepared and in the know every time. Best of all, talking to our customers, companies all over the world, we are being successful at completely destroying team silos. Check it out, hugo.team. Thanks very much. Good job. OK, we're now going to hear from One Health Company. They brought precision therapies uh, to, that have been used to treat humans to apply to dogs who are suffering from cancer. So please, I'd like to introduce the CEO and founder, Christina Kelly Lopez, to the stage. Good morning, Toronto. I'm Christina Lopez, CEO and co-founder of the One Health Company, and our mission is to cure cancer in dogs. Six million dogs were diagnosed with cancer last year in the US, versus one and a half million people. The incidence and prevalence is very high, but what is worse is that there are few options. They are inefficacious and toxic. We should know our Cosmo was one of those six million. And families like you and I are spending on our pets like a family member. To revolutionize this and bring canine cancer care to the 21st century, we introduced PhytoCure, the first targeted precision medicine for dogs. We genomically test the tumor, then we report the findings for you and your vet, and we enable with your vet precision therapies, targeted therapies, the most cutting edge, all at a fixed cost. And we have some early successes to share with you today. Cosmos, excuse me, Forest, Golden Retriever, nine years old, the most aggressive cancer, one to two months to live, and rodent phytocure, 10 months in remission. Lulu in Colorado, mast cell tumors, was having side effects, very toxic treatment in rodent phytocure, and is now without her tumors. Toulouse flew from Switzerland to get care in the US had already failed chemo and radiation, is now without metastatic disease. And our paw print in the US is growing and hopefully will come international. And the data, what we learn with each dog, deepens our data set. And humans and dogs have co-evolved and shared this terrible disease. Large Pharma has recognized this, so we partner with them and embolden the data set, hopefully to bring cures to humans too. Our capital partners, Andreessen Horowitz, Lair Hippo, Y Combinator, come join us in this fight. I welcome you, and thank you for joining. Amazing. Next, we're going to hear from a software as a service company that's built an advanced SaaS management platform that will increase the velocity, the agility, <clears throat> and the efficiency <clears throat> excuse me, of your IT operations. To tell us more, the CTO has come all the way from Tel Aviv, Israel. Please welcome Tal Beresnitsky to the stage. Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm Uri, and I'm the CEO and founder of Dory. I built three companies in the past 10 years, bringing them to great success. Last one, House Party, is being used by millions of users around the world. Two years ago, when coming to build Tori, I had three things in mind. I knew I want to solve a big nagging problem that is only getting bigger. It needs to be in a way that is innovative and new. And above all, it needs to be simple. And that's why I started Tori. And in the past decade, the world has moved to SaaS. And we've seen tremendous things and growth it brought to us. It's safe to say that almost all of us here are building SaaS, sexy, fancy SaaS tools. But something less sexy left behind, and that's the way we manage them. Think of the IT. That job was always hard. But 
today, they still find it hard to answer very basic questions around the SaaS tools, like, what tools are we using? How much are we using them? And how much are we paying for them? Ask any CIO how many applications are being used in the company and get two answers. One of them is, I don't know. And the other one is a large enough variance, which is pretty much, I don't know. And not managing these tools correctly means that you're either wasting money, wasting time, you have risk exposures, or you're just not being productive. And this is where Tori comes in. We are a SaaS management platform. We directly connect to all our customers' SaaS tools, providing them with complete visibility of everything they need to know around their SaaS applications. On top of that, we build a layer of insights to get them the right actions they need at the right time. And a few months ago, we started with the powerful workflow automation process when they can actually workflow all the tedious work around managing all these tools. Tori can be implemented in less than 15 minutes. It can discover more than 10,000 tools and connect to hundreds. We built a superstar team to take it to market, and we have the best customers in the world, and they just love Tori. And I'm super thrilled to announce that we just completed a round of funding of $3.5 million from the greatest investors in the industry. And that will help us take Tori to the next level, because in the future, software will be managing software, and that's Tori. Please come and see us tomorrow at the booth. Thank you, everyone. OK. Our next company offers their customers a collaborative data platform that helps companies build more valuable partnerships. So to tell us about the potential of his company, please welcome co-founder and CEO of Crossbeam, Bob Moore. Techstars Toronto and the co collision. Jeffrey is going to take your mic off of your Thank you and good morning. My name is Bob Moore, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Crossbeam. Crossbeam is a collaborative data platform. We serve as an escrow service for data that helps companies that are collaborating with one another identify overlaps in their data and take action on those overlaps without worrying about letting the underlying raw data pass through to their partners. This solves an extremely important problem in the landscape of modern collaboration between companies, whether it's technology partnerships, platform partnerships, or channel partnerships. And that problem is the classic prisoner's dilemma problem from game theory that makes it so hard to answer simple questions like, how many customers do we have in common and who are they? Or are my sales reps selling to any of the same people that your sales reps are selling to right now? The issue is that you can't draw that Venn diagram unless you have both of the circles, until Crossbeam came along. Crossbeam sits in between these companies and helps them identify the intersections in their data while keeping the rest of their knowledge and data private and secure. It's really simple. Companies connect their CRM systems or other sources of truth, define segments in their data that are relevant to their collaboration with other companies, partner up like LinkedIn for data, and ultimately find use cases for growing. Those use cases go up and down the entire revenue funnel, from identifying net new leads that partners can help to activate and bring online, to accelerating sales through motions like account mapping and co-selling and co-marketing activities. Also, it helps people prioritize their partnerships in the first place. What technology integration should I build next? What's the size of the potential addressable market if I were to collaborate with partner X, Y, or Z? Crossbeam is live now. It's free to sign up and join the network. And we hope that we can bring a ton of value to your company and your partnerships. Thank you all so much. Come see us in the beta exhibitor section. Thanks. So our next company is called Flipped. And Flipped is on a mission to help us all lead more digitally balanced lives. Uh, deal with things like iPhone addiction and just general device addiction while building now a digital wellness company. Please welcome to the stage the co-founder and chief marketing officer, Alana Harvey from Flipped. Digital wellness. 
It's a $600 billion market that's exploded from nothing in just the last 10 years. You'd think then that we'd all be a lot happier, right? Actually, in that same amount of time, our happiness has been declining. It seems that the more time we're spending on our screens, the less happy we've become. In fact, our, we are the unhappiest we've been in the last 30 years. Why is this? Time. Researchers have found that the average person is spending all of their leisure time engaging in unhappy digital experiences. That means that there's less time to focus on the activities that are good for our overall well-being. So let's take a look at that $600 billion digital wellness market. It's a mess for the average consumer to navigate. You have to browse the app store, download an app, create an account, start a free trial, try the content, only to discover that it's not the right fit for you and start this process all over again. This is frustrating for consumers, it's unfair for content creators, and it's not making any of us any happier. Flipped solves all of that. At Flipped, we're making digital well we're your gateway to digital wellness all in one place. We make it easy for you to focus on the activities that make you happy, healthy, and productive, whatever they may be. And we partner with the leading wellness content creators from around the world, like Slumber for Sleep Stories, Brain FM for AI-powered brain music, and even Toronto's own Kio for motivational podcasts. At Flipped, we're helping first-time wellness consumers become wellness experts. And since we launched, we've grown to almost a million users completely organically. We've grown our monthly revenue by eight times since this time last year. And we've helped power over a billion mindful moments for our community. Flipped is making such a powerful impact that we've been featured by the likes of the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, Wired, and even Oprah. And our happy users, well, they speak for themselves all over social media. So if you're into digital wellness and you want to make it a more accessible experience for everyone, then come talk to the Flipped Wellness team. We'll be at booth B152 this Thursday, giving away free self-care assessments. Thank you. Great job, Elena. Okay, coming up next is a company that will combine natural language processing with a network of experts who will evaluate the veracity of scientific work. Let's hear more from the co-founder and CEO of Sight AI, Joshua Nicholson. Hello, everyone. I'm excited to be on this big stage because I have some very, very big news to tell you. We've cured cancer. No one's clapping because internally you're all probably thinking, that's bullshit. And it is bullshit. We haven't cured cancer. We have looked at cancer. This is actually my work from finishing a PhD about four years ago. Is this bullshit? It's much harder to tell when the claims look like this. And this is a real scientific paper. You look at the journal brand, you look at the citations, and you look at the institutions. What about this paper? It's in the world's best journal. It's been cited a thousand times. It's informed six different clinical trials. Is this bullshit? How do we know? At Sight, we're building a way that you can look at any scientific paper, consequently any scientific person, to see if they're full of shit, uh, to see if they've been supported or contradicted. We do this uh, by analyzing the citations that papers receive using a deep learning model to say, is this supporting, contradicting, or mentioning? So you can see that my work has been supported three years later uh, by an independent group. Or you can see that this work, uh, which has all failed those clinical trials, has been contradicted. So where are we today? We've done 236 million citation statements. Uh, we are ingesting 1,000 documents a minute, so basically every scientific paper there is. Uh, it's 20 million citations a day. And, and most importantly, scientists are using us. So we're only two weeks old. Uh, we don't have all this funding and a lot of press coverage, but maybe that'll change after this. So thank you very much. Maybe it will. Okay, we're going to now move into the construction tech industry, and we're going to meet a company called Roofer. 
Roofer is a marketplace for roofing, which will utilize satellite data and imagery for instant roofing estimates. So to tell you more about this big idea, please welcome the company's co-founder and CEO to the stage, Richard Nelson. Hey, everybody. By a show of hands, how many people have had to replace their roof or repair it? Holy shit. Um, okay, I didn't think there was going to be that many. So obviously, you've probably all gone through the, the horrible experience of doing this, and we're trying to change that. So getting a roofing estimate typically takes weeks. We do it in 30 seconds. Homeowners can go online, enter their address, within seconds get a quote. We're typically saving consumers, on average, 20%. Our mission is to ensure that every homeowner has access to protect their home with an affordable roof. Now, what do we do for roofers? We're building a platform that helps them manage their entire workflow. We give them free leads, free satellite measurement software. Um, we're launching a business loans product that they're able to get access to a line of credit in under three minutes. And they purchase their materials directly through Roofer at a potentially cheaper rate. Now, this is actually a massive market. Over 5 million buildings have their roof replaced every single year, and our investors believe it's a massive market as well. We've seen investments from Y Combinator, Crosslink Capital, and many others. Now, currently, we're live in five markets across North America with plans to launch nationwide in the next five years. That's all I have for today. If you guys are interested in come talking to us, come see us in the booth. Thank you. So we're going to move into the vertical of prop tech. Our next company is called Lane, and they enable people to have a beautiful office experience. Uh, they provide connection, community, and streamlining to office life. So please welcome the CEO and co-founder of Lane, Clint Robinson, to the stage. Hello, Toronto. How awesome is it that Collision chose Toronto, Canada to have this year's conference? Isn't that fantastic? I'm Clinton Robinson, co-founder of Lane, and we're a workplace experience platform. And that was actually the end of the deck, so I'm actually going to have to go all the way back. Um, I guess I'll just wing it? All right, fantastic. Uh, so we're a workplace experience platform, and we turn any workplace into a place that works. And why is work? Oh, fantastic. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you. OK, why is workplace experience so important right now? Well, there's a new workforce, and they work in a radically different kind of way. And if you want these people to come work with you, you're going to have to offer them a very different work day. They expect great services and amenities. And most importantly, they expect technology to exist everywhere and to make their workday as easy to use as everything else in their life. So why is it so hard to create a, a great workplace experience right now? Well, the ecosystem is complex. It's fragmented. It's outdated. There's a dozen stakeholders in my office alone, from uh, the building owner to the property manager to the vendors and services and to the building management. They're all using outdated software. None of it works together. So that's why we created Lane, an intelligent platform for providing beautiful workplace experiences. What if every person, as they go to work every day, could be more productive because things were easier to use? Or what if we could make you a bit happier because we removed some friction out of your life? This is what Lane does. So from the moment you get in through the front door to maybe how you book your monthly parking pass, to how you register guests or book rooms, or maybe it's been a hard day and you want to book that wellness program, or you've run out of time today and you need to get that project done and you want lunch delivered right to your desk. All of this is available through one intelligent platform. And for those stakeholders I talked about, the value for them is now they have this intelligent platform, they're collecting data and analytics, and they're learning how to provide better service and, and improve experience at every office. So we're really excited. We've been blown away by how fast we've grown. It seems like a year and a half ago, we were just in Toronto. 
And now we power over 1,500 offices across a dozen major cities. And we are growing our team right now. So if you want to come work with us and change how the world works, please come talk to us. We're out at the, the beta exhibitor stand right now. Thank you. I'm Clinton, and this is Lane. Good save. Thanks, All right. So we'll move into AI, which is uh, what's making Toronto famous around the world. VoiceFlow uh, will help people design, prototype, and build voice apps without coding. And when you consider that Amazon has sold more than 100 million Alexa devices, you will certainly get an idea of why there's no limit on what this Canadian company is set to achieve. So to hear more about their plans, please let's welcome the CEO and co-founder of VoiceFlow, Braden Reem. Hi everyone, my name is Braden. I'm the CEO and co-founder of VoiceFlow. One year ago, my co-founders and I had just finished our first businesses, and we were looking for what's next. And so we started to ask ourselves, what are the big new emerging tech trends? At the time, one of us had a smart speaker, and we thought it was interesting, so we started to play around with it. And so we started building interactive children's stories on Alexa. We would actually write them ourselves, we'd drive them around on our bikes in Toronto delivering them, and we actually end up building a really popular Alexa skill called StoryFlow. Now, we actually had a big problem with StoryFlow in that it was so popular we couldn't produce voice content fast enough. And so after hiring a couple of our friends and trying to set up almost like an assembly line for this process of designing it, scripting it, building it, and then testing it, we decided to build our own internal tool. We tried other tools on the market, but nothing was built for professionals to design and develop voice apps. Today, that internal tool we built is VoiceFlow, and it's used by over 10,000 designers and developers since launching in December. We have some amazing enterprises who have used it to power some of their uh, incredible voice experiences, and it's the all-in-one platform for designing a, a VUI, which is a voice user interface, prototyping it, developing it, and actually launching it to both Alexa and Google simultaneously. In fact, this uh, is an Alexa skill built by one of our clients. It was designed, prototyped, and developed entirely on VoiceFlow and featured on the homepage of Amazon last month. This is the new Hugh Jackman, Zach Galifianakis movie, The Missing Link. We've raised $3.5 million in the past 12 months. It's been an incredible ride some, from some awesome capital partners like True Ventures, uh, the founders of Product Hunt, uh, Eventbrite, and Webflow. There's a lot of big, exciting futures. There's now two and a half billion voice assistants out there, and we're excited to chat about the future. Thanks so much. Cheers. Great job, Braden. <clears throat> OK, this is our final presentation this morning. And for our final speaker, uh, we're going to talk that first impressions really do matter. They matter in business as much as they do in the rest of our lives. And so that goes for the customer experience when you experience a product. We want to have the touch, the look, and the feel of the very packaging that the product arrives in to resonate with us. And to explain this in more detail, I'm going to bring out the CEO of Georgette Packaging. Please welcome the CEO, Sarah Landstreet. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sarah Landstreet, the founder and CEO at Georgette Packaging. The global packaging industry is worth $980 billion, nearly three times the size of the world's entire software industry. Packaging is something that everyone on Earth uses, pays for, and disposes of, almost all on a daily basis. There is no software replacement for packaging. This is an industry that is not going away, and in fact is only growing with consumption. Disruption is drastically needed and inevitable. The same applies to our relationship with disposable packaging and our understanding of the tremendous impact it has on our environment. I believe it is our responsibility as business leaders to drive this change. Uh, there are two primary ways to do so. Number one is by being principled and informed buyers and users of packaging. This is powerful and crucially needed. Number two is by reform from within the packaging industry itself. This is one of our main priorities at Georgette. 
Now, there are two ways, there, or there are more and less responsible ways to dispose of packaging. More impactfully, there are more and less responsible ways to create packaging. We work with hundreds of consumer brands across North America to develop environmentally preferable packaging. Some of the ways in which we do so are by educating end consumers on the realities of disposal, creating a market for recycled materials, and by carbon offsetting all of our packaging. Georgette Packaging is backed by Y Combinator. We do an annual revenue of $4 million. We're a team of seven, and we're profitable. I believe there is a tremendous shift happening in our industry, that there is much work to be done, and that we are the best team to do it. I invite anyone interested in improving the environmental standard of their packaging to get in touch. Sarah at GeorgettePackaging.com. Thank you. Great job, Sarah. OK, that's it, everybody. Um, these were 10 incredible seed stage companies. We're going to do this again tomorrow morning at 9.30. 10 different companies will give you their inspiration and their vision for how they're going to disrupt the world that we live in. We're going to now take a quick five-minute break, and we're going to move right into our opening keynote speaker on this very stage. Thank you very much.